Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, I will install OpenWR Tricks on the Raspberry Pi 5 and have a quick test of the device performance in routing, OpenVPN and Wygod VPN. At this moment, official OpenWRT support for the Raspberry Pi 5 is not yet available. However, there are bills from Marty Jones which I will be used for the test. You can check out his build at github.com slash mj2226. The installation is very simple and straightforward. All you need to do is downloading the firmware from github. After that, burn it to the micro SD card using Rufus, Balena Actures, or simply use the DD command if you are on Linux. Since the Raspberry Pi 5 only has one Ethernet port, I will use another USB to Ethernet adapter as the one port. It is the DUB1312 from D-Link. Fortunately, the driver for this adapter is included in Magi's build, so I can use it on the first boot. To ensure the Raspberry Pi 5 won't be throttled due to overheat, I have installed the active cooler which comes with 4 pin fans and an aluminum alloy heat sink. The 5 on 5 m PD power supply from Raspberry Pi is also used to provide a stable power source to both the Raspberry Pi 5 and the USB Ethernet adapter. The onboard Ethernet port is the LAN port and it is connected to my PC. The USB to Ethernet adapter is connected to the USB 3.0 port. The other end is connected to the upstream router. Let's confirm that the micro SD card with OpenWRT is installed and then power on the Pi 5. Everything was on the third boot. I am able to log into the UC web interface as 192.168.1.1. As usual, the username is root and there is no password. We can see that the model is Raspberry Pi 5 Model B revision 1.0 and the kernel version is 6.1.71. Down below, we can see the available memory which is 8GB and the statistics of the display. There is also the post status section, both Ethernet 0 and Ethernet 1 is up and running with 1 gigabit Ethernet. Let's go and set up the root password and then proceed with the throughput test. This is the 1 to LAN throughput test. The test server is from the one side and it has IP address of 10.42.0.1. Testing with open speed test, the result is 829 Mbps download and 878 Mbps upload. During the test, the CPU is at 91% idle with the lot is just on one core of the CPU. The result is still the same after enabling software offloading and packet steering. We can see that the CPU lot is also on one core of the CPU and the results is very close to the first test. To make sure the result is accurate, I have done the throughput test with iPub3. Here, the iPub3 test is running with four streams and using the file direction or upload. The speed is 847 Mbps. Running the test again in reverse or download. The speed is 810 Mbps. With 4 CPU cores clocked at 2.4 GHz, I expect the Raspberry Pi 5 can do at least 1 gigabit per second. However, the performance seems not really promising. Let's move to OpenVPN test. From the test, the network diagram had changed. Here is the OpenVPN server. It has IP address of 172.16.9.113. The Raspberry Pi 5's one interface has IP address of 172.16.9.110. Both 
both devices are connected to the high performance switch. The Zycel XG8-1250 and are in the SAM172.16.9.0-24 network. The OpenVPN interface on the test server has the IP address of 10.8.0.1 and it will be used for the test. Let's start the open speed test. Here, I got around 340 MPPS download with 81% CPU idle or 90% CPU load. For upload, it is 300 MPPS with just 22% CPU load. Let's run the test again before moving to the IPOP3 test. This time, the result is a little bit better. It is 354 MPPS download and 306 MPPS upload. Running the iPub 3 test with 4 streams, the record throughput is 306 MPPS. During the test, the CPU is at 75% idle or 25% CPU load. Changing the direction to reverse or upload, the speed is 404 MPPS while the CPU is at 26%. Alright, so that is it for the open VPN throughput test. Let's check out the Wygod VPN throughput. The network connection diagram is similar to the open VPN test which we did previously. However, the IP address of the Wygod interface on the server changed to 10.7.0.1. With open speed test, we have 544 MPPS download when the CPU is at 67% idle. For upload, the speed is higher. It is 882 MPPS with 58% CPU idle. The differences between upload and download is quite big. So, let's run the test for another time. Alright, the result is correct. And we have a huge difference between download and upload. Let's check it out with iPub3. The iPub3 throughput is more or less the same with open speed test. With 4 streams running in normal direction or upload, the throughput is 852 MPPS. Running the iPub 3 test in revert mode, the throughput is 494 MPPS. The speed is even lower when reducing the stream to 1, it is 844 MPPS for upload and 342 MPPS for download. Alright, so that's it a quick OpenVPN performance test on the Raspberry Pi 5. At this moment, firmware development for the Pi 5 is still in early stage and there should be a lot of things to fix and improve. I will keep an eye on this and we will have another video once the official OpenWRT support is available. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.